K1510, we're in the upper end of the chess world now, on this hardest chess site in the world. So this is where we'll be starting to take the kickings. Let's just push this pawn. Let's develop the bishop, see if we can get castled. Just doing the same stuff, same concepts. Let's block the diagonal for the Fianchetto bishop. And let's just push the pawn up, supporting the pawn. Let's bring the bishop out, maybe giving the king a bit of company. I'm going to develop the knight. So they're looking to champion on the far side, so they're a little bit squinchy about the centre. Hmm. What's new? Let's just push on the far flank. I think he wants to sink his knight into here. So I think he's not going to take. I think no push. Yeah. So we can take. Does bring his knight here. But we can push ourselves, but then the diagonal for the bishop is always hunting the rook. So we could move the rook and just support the pawn. This pawn's going to have no protection. Queen's protecting at the moment. So I'm going to move the rook because that's all they're looking for with their lazy bishop. Could take with the pawn or take with the rook. Rooks don't really have a place in the centre of the board because as we can see, he's going to have the diagonal, excuse me, the diagonal through with the bishop when the knight moves. So potentially coming down here with the rook supporting the pawn. That doesn't look like a nice position. But on the other side of the... Co what, oh, did I just make a move? Oh, silly me, messing about with the damn pieces. Let's resign. Let's resign. Now they're coming with this funky move here, 1600. So obviously this is a set play type thing. So we take, he takes, all that rubbish. Yep, he takes, then we our king gets squished somehow. But we're going to take it anyway. We're going to follow the process. Diagonal through to our rook. So I'm just going to block the diagonal off for a moment. When you see these crazy openings, it's for you to lose tempo and you, you're not developing your pieces. So let's expect to be not getting castled, queen coming, putting check on, getting the bishop back, all that sort of stuff. It's not come and put the check on, but he's putting attack on here. So I'm going to bring the... Yeah. Just bring the bishop to a... But he's going to get the pawn with the queen. I thought it would have come here and put a check on to get the bishop. So does it really give us a bit of time to actually just attack? But he's going to get this pawn. He's got a 2 on one on the pawn. If we go here, his queen takes this pawn. Okay, move the knight. Queen takes and then he's on the knight. Move the knight here. I'm trying to save the pawn, but it doesn't look like I can save it, really. He's attacking two. Do we just bring the bishop back? But if we bring the bishop back, we're defending this pawn, but then the pieces are not on. Maybe the bishop then just takes the pawn, and he's got like a battery here. And then his queen's just putting checks on us. Oh, dear. Savage times. I'm back to where I started. Yeah, shocking. Shocking. I think I should have stayed in my bed. Think I should have stayed in my bed. Let's smaller piece attack in a higher piece. Block blocking this off. Then there's a double attack here <clears throat> on this pawn. It's not taken that. There's something weird going on with this player. He's not taking stuff. Um, just going to bring the knight up. He's got an obvious two on one there with the queen and the bishop. That should have taken, shouldn't it? 
So I'm going to try and get our pieces out then if we can get castled maybe. I don't really know. This player's very weird. Okay, let's just bring the bishop out and then maybe get the knight out and maybe get castled. Strange opening, strange position. Like I said, I think I've got sleepy eyes here. But this has always been the toughest section. Once, If you get past this um, 1600 area on this site, then it seems to be a little bit easier in terms of the games and matches that you play. Only based on my own experience, not based on anybody else's. So it's fairly okay getting to 1600, but I'm not in the rating ladder climb thing or anything like that. But seeing as we are here, we need, well, I need to talk about the difficulties that will arise. So we were looking at just developing the knight. I mean, they're going with pawns to not develop minor pieces, but that doesn't mean anything at this kind of level at this moment because they just come out and do crazy stuff. It's almost like they're practicing new ideas trying to break away from the mold. I'm going to castle. I'm not sure he's wanting to castle there. He's wanting to get his rooks up on this half open file. So do we have anything to attack? We can attack the queen. Our bishop is still on the back. Small piece attacking a higher piece. I don't think can be wrong, can it? Let's just attack the queen, see what it wants to do. Queen's protecting, so we could bring the bishop here if he's coming here. Gets the bishop off the back. But he might be planning to attack this area here. Getting his knight here as well, attacking that area. Right, so he's switching to come round, attacking the king. Could bring our knight here to maybe bring it home again. Queen can come here. Bishop, 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 bishop. Queen, bishop. Get the bishop off the back. But where's it going? It's not really doing anything there, is it? I need to probably move the rook. Panicking about so many things. I need to stop moving the pieces. What happened in that last game? Crikey. Just use the arrows. Rook coming across. I mean, it's not attacking the pawn at the minute. So maybe we don't need to lose any sleep over that. What's the knight doing? Knight here. Coming to here, attacking, trying to disturb the area. That Does that look more promising? Or is he going to drop his pawn? His knight wants to attack our bishop. Oh, so maybe if we do bring the bishop here, it's kind of stopping that knight move. But then he can come this way and attack the bishop anyway. So I'm going to bring the knight up and be a bit more proactive, at least trying to plan to attack something. In the meantime, we know that they can potentially come and attack the bishop here. They've actually castled on the king's side. Okay, so if we bring the bishop here, do we get away with attacking here? I mean, their knight is there. So we could attack, and the queen can take the knight if the knight takes. So then we're around their king area because there's no pawn here. So it does take, I'm going to capture that square bishop's not, oh, he's moved there dead quick. Oh, have I fallen for a trap again? Knight up. Knight's got no player because the bishop's blocking. I don't want to get my queen trapped. So I'm probably going to bring it back. I don't see, could come opposite the king. Oh, he's looking for his rook to come down and start attacking here and facing our king off because his queen's got the diagonals. All right, okay. Right. Can we do anything about that? I feel the knight needs to come off the back. Maybe open up the white square bishop. Is it going to be fast enough to get here and attack their bishop? I don't think it is, you know. Open up and see if we can put pressure towards the king. Although he's just going to take and then I have to move my bishop. Or maybe back here. Or maybe here. 
So that might not have been a good thing because I'm still down the tempo, aren't I? And I've lost the piece for... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all I, all I had was this tunnel vision of, oh, let's attack this bishop. But there's no mate threat unless I go here like this. But his queen is protecting there. So I may have lost the pawn for no reason. All because I'm not happy with my position. I'm, I need to get my pieces over to the other side. So I, I have definitely lost the pawn here. So if he takes, do we bring the bishop here to help support maybe attacking here? Yeah, so probably just bring the bishop here. I think that's probably better. Yeah, let's just bring it here. So options of potentially coming here. Still looking for this, but have we lost the tempo because his rook can come? Oh, in fact, it can come there and attack our queen now. So we've lost that tempo of attacking the bishop. Damn. So when they come here, we can still go opposite. And that's probably even better. It's just that their queen is defending. Our knight can't go undisturbed there apart from coming here, but the bishop is supporting the pawn. Yep, yeah, so a rocky start to today's games. Not impressed at all. Ah, oh, shabby, shabby, shabby. But I have those moments. I have those moments where I just, yeah, position's not good. And then I have good long runs of, oh, they've not done the rook thing. Are we still looking to do this then? I think we have time to do this, don't we? Could attack the bishop as well with the knight. Before. Oh, but if we, if the bishop's staying there, oh God, was it here? Oh, please don't put it, yeah, all right. If the bishop's staying there, do we have time to, oh, excuse me, move the queen here to be opposite and then do this? Because he's at the moment, his bishop is blocking. But do you know what I think he's done? He's moving that to go there, to go here to attack the queen. So when we go like this, then his bishop attacks the queen. Yeah. So then we can bring our queen here. The queen is still defending the bishop. Yeah, that's what they've done. So if we even if we did go and attack it, he's still going to attack our queen. Our knight's in a nice position, though, because it can take the pawn here at some point. So I think I'm going to go with this and then bring the queen here when the bishop attacks. Then at least the knight's attacking this pawn. Got a fork on the rook and the queen. Am I missing something? Obviously, the rook can come down. Oh, it's already doing it. It's already doing it. Has it landed on anything? So we can come here, like we said. Has something improved at all? Knight taking. Okay, I feel like my queen's getting trapped, but let's just go here. It's not visible at the moment. Opposite the king, bishop can't move. Knight's on the bishop. Bishop's obviously going to move, but then we still do have the pawn, which we can take. But there's no fork. It's just on the queen. They're doing moves that we don't, we aren't even thought of <laughs> at all, as usual. As I said, my queen's probably going to get trapped into not one of them moves. So if we come come back, we're X-raying through to their queen. Oh, why is it not going straight? X-raying through to their queen, but then does his rook have something? Has he got a fork? No. Oh, he's got my knight. He's got my knight with the queen. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I'm I'm going to have to give up today. This is not good. Oh, dear me. 
It's got the night, the beautiful night that was going to do all the. It's not taken. This player is strange. So if they come and attack, that means they're and taking the bishop. <sighs> Queens come around. I need to move my queen out of there, you know. Could go and get a pawn over here, but we need to keep the king with some company. If we did come here and attack the rook, the rook is probably just going to come across here and then he's got a two on one on the bishop. So we'd have to push a pawn to defend. So that seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Can't bring this here. I'm blocking my queen. But I could go in for a pawn. Where's his knight going? His, his king coming across, bishop coming round. Let's go here and if we can leisurely get a pawn. This player's got a weird playing style, man. He's gathered all his pieces. I mean, the smallest of advantages is that he doesn't have a, a proper castle for his king so one of his pieces is out of commission at the minute so he's probably just going to move his king out of the way oh no blocking <laughs> oh, dear me. oh no 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 blocking and my queen can't even take his knight because of that i can't bring it here because he's got two I could attack the bishop like we originally planned. Oh, terrible. Terrible. And he's probably just inching down here. This player is weird. Weird playing style. Very good. Ah. I need to take a break after this one because I'm taking a bit of a kick in. I did say that right at the very beginning. It's just going to get tough in here. They're not going to allow you to get to the next level. And the knight is defending. Come on, we must have something at some point. Bishop here. Bishop takes, queen takes. I feel like I'm just getting strangled. Slow strangulation, bishop, no, nothing there. I could attack the rook. Rook's not coming here, so he just goes back. I'm going to attack the rook. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Knight doesn't have a check on our queen, does it? No, or the king. Oh, do you know, though? <laughs> Go back to the right place, dude. Do you know, because the knight is blocking our queen, the bishop can take the bishop. So if we went and thinking we're being fancy, I suppose we get a higher piece. So if they took our bishop, then we could take a rook. So logic kind of dictates that they're not going to take with the rook and they'll move the rook back. Then we can take the bishop. Bishop's on the pawn. And that's about it, isn't it? That's not good, really. It's also x-raying through to the queen as well. We do have these pawns to contend with, don't we? What do we do? A smaller piece attacking a higher piece. The bishop takes. Queen comes and takes. I'm going to attack the rook. If the bishop takes, we take a higher piece. That's my logic. With the extra added bonus of x ray and through to the queen. Not that it means much in this type of position. He does like a, have a passer here and a semi passer here. So we're going to have to work really hard. And he is plus one. So, grand scheme of things, not looking too good. I'm just hoping they do some weird stuff. That's rubbish, not good stuff. I want weird. 
Oh, come on, dude. What is that? No, 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 no. I'm instantly thinking going here. And we're on his rook with our bishop. So do they win some sort of important tempo? I'm going to bring it here. None of the moves I've said they've done are whatsoever. They are weird. I'm waiting to just get throttled because today is not working well. I'm going to take about a 15 minute break and then come back in again. Because I can't go out like that. Damn. These two games have been a little bit stinky. So we're hitting two piece, two higher pieces with our bishops at the moment. Knight, I was just going to say knight's coming here, but with bishop can take the knight, so then it's an even exchange then. That's not what we wanted. And if we move the queen up, then his bishop's just going to attack. If we move the queen out of the equation altogether, bishop can attack there. If we move the queen to here, his knight does have an attack on our king here. So we can take. But he's got all these pieces around my king area. I don't think there's much, much devastation. I think if we move the queen out of the way, because the bishop's attacking this rook, bishop's attacking this rook. That must surely be the answer. Knight comes down, puts a check or not. Um, am I missing something? Just make the move because I'm not on it today. I'm not on it today at all. I'm hoping there's a miracle here somewhere. One of the rooks has got to fall, hasn't it? Because there's two bishops on, but they might not care and they might have some sort of Checkmate thing, equalization. I think the knight's going to give itself up, is it? With some sort of check, so that at least the other rook escapes. Well, both of the rooks will escape. So I think he's going to come here with a check. So then we go, oh, well, we're going to have to take now. But we don't really have to take. We could just move the king out of the way. And what? Other check does he have? Does he have anything else? So he comes down, puts the check, we move the king out of the way. We're still on his rooks. I don't really want them to get escape, you see, so I want one of them at best, but with a better improved position. I don't want to get it and then get checkmated. That's what I think he's doing. One of these checks on the king. So if he does that one, this one looks like it's got nothing extra. But is he looking to push this pawn down? And this one looks like it's in the mix. Oh, he's moved one. So I'll take, I don't want to play around. And then just maybe take this um, knight here. Or do we have some sort of beautiful position? No, not really. Rook's protecting. Okay, right, take the knight off the board. Less pieces they've got. So we won the exchange, but um, I'm not really happy with position. I think the bishop just needs to take the knight off the board. Or we could come here and put a check on the king, giving them something to think about. Knight comes back blocking. And then the bishops on our queen as well. So if we take the knight off the board, then push the pawn up. Take the knight off the board and then push the pawn up on the bishop. I think the bishop will take. Six minutes. It's a 10 second increment. So I just have to sit back now and hope that they don't because these pawns are just going to be pushed down. I need to probably try and block them. Yeah, so the bishop's going to do the work. 
So I'm probably just pushing the pawn here to give them something to think about. Is that the one? Yeah, just hit the bishop. Get a rook opposite the queen or owning a file. I don't think it's owning a file situation here. So we've got to be blocking these off. So that's the way they're going to champion this. They've got these pawns that we have to think about. We need to get them off the board somehow. But the bishop's just going to be defending them all the way down. Does it even come here? Shocking games. Shocking games. Absolutely terrible. Uh, Bishop's gone back. So he's managing this square. Do we bring the rook here? Look to double up. Or do we just hit the pawn? But then he just drops. Do we hit this pawn? If we hit this pawn, then he drops. Then we take. Bishop takes. I'm going to have to sacrifice the rook. I think. Maybe. Maybe the queen comes and defends. All sorts of stuff. Maybes, if, buts, maybes. Shoulda, woulda, couldas. Damn. So you got a checkmate on me. So he does drop it. So we said we're going to take. What's it look like after that? His pawn can just take again. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Queen takes. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Yep. I might be missing an intermission. Inter yeah, there we oh, bishop takes. Let's take. And then take. And this is the part where am I, am I getting trapped? No, not yet. So we've actually clawed the pawn back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe go for basics attacking this pawn. He does have X ray, not yet. So these are the types of end games that nobody likes to play, but we've been practicing. Maybe, maybe it might hold us in good stead. We've got five minutes, 10 second increment. Very bad start to the game, very bad start to the session. We look like we're trying to claw it back. I did think we're just coming here, attacking the pawn. His rook just goes, goes and defends. Go for simple. Two on one on the pawn. Rook comes back, defends. What do we do from there? Rook's got no defense on. So could go and attack the rook. King comes down to defend. Are we helping them develop though, doing that? Mm. Right. Yep, so we go and attack, but then his king comes to defend. Put a check on the king, king comes across. Got to be careful because his queen will be ready to come down here, get a check on and get the um, pawn off the board. And mess me up because he'll have like a check, check thing. So he's moved the rook out of the wee. Queen king is on a dark square. Could, oops, excuse me. What's wrong with my arrows? Okay, check. But am I helping them? he does have this, don't forget. <clears throat> so 
Time is running out. Time is running out. Check. He moves somewhere. Move back again. Or move my king. Move my king up. This is not, no, maybe not because his king, queen can come down. Maybe move the rook up first. Or maybe come across. And then go there. Let's bring the rook across. That's the only thing I can see. Come in here and then come in here for a little touch. Might get a draw going backwards and forwards. You never know. But, as we know, never know what the opponent's going to do when this opponent plays some weird chess. So I don't know what they're going to do. They may come down here and just attack our pawns. Bishop, Queen's protecting at the minute. Ah, oh, he's he blocked it off. So there's no point in me doing that because he comes here and I can't do that. Ah, oh, spoiling the show. Oh, that's very clever, isn't it? I can't do it. Well, I'm going to do the check anyway because my time's running out. Oh, man. I'm spotting my little, my little floor. So what else can I do then? I can bring the rook here. But then the queen can take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, I can't do that. I get the rook here, facing there, and then get the queen off. That might be a possibility, might it? Has he got a check on our king at all? Let's go here. Idea being trying to go and x-ray through to the king. You never know, it might work. At least we're trying. But I don't want to overextend and then they just get me on the back end. I don't mind him going for a draw, but I don't want to get... Um, checkmate it because I'm over over flowering the situation so if he moves here queen can come and put a check it's only a momentary check and the issue we do have is if he does do that and if we just went straight here He's not got a check because we can take, but he can go here. Right, so he has moved. So we can go with the check here, or we can continue attacking. Or we could move back again and look to go for the queen check here. Obviously, that's not going to work. So if we come and put the check on, his rook probably just comes and defends. And then rook can attack their queen. All right, let's do that. Put a check on the king. Time's running out. Get the rook here. If they forget themselves, we take it. But I doubt, the, doubt that very much. He probably could go for an exchange. But he can't do that just yet. Oh, he's gone for the exchange. He's got a pawn in the centre as well. We've got pawn majority on this side, so I think we're just going to take the queen off the board, aren't we? We're going to take the queen off the board, and he's got a pawn in the centre. So we just need to get activated now. Let's attack the pawn, and then maybe put, attack this one and come back down again. In fact, maybe we should have attacked that one. Yeah, I think we should have attacked this one first and then dropped down because then we would have had choices of these, these pawns. In fact, I could do that now, but he's going to come down and put a check on my king. So I need to do this first because he would have been down, up, there. Uh, So attack 
these two pawns. It's probably coming to put a check on our king. So he can't defend both pawns. He's going to have to win a tempo in terms of doing this, I think, anyway. He's going for the exchange. He's got split pawns over here, but is that going to help us? So we take, takes, although his king can come here and attack these pawns. I think this is going to be a draw, or they actually win because of this passer, because his king will come down and take our pawns. Ooh. So if we take this one, then he comes down, puts a check on our king. We move up or we move down, whichever, move down. He takes this pawn. We come across and take this pawn. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Take. Takes. Let's take, I think, for some strange reason, I think we might be able to hold a draw. Just push the king here. Just trying to stop this action. But my king's going to have to stay there now. Because of these split things, I'm hoping that our rhinoceros head is going to work. He's moving his king to the other side of the board, though, to get the pawns. Let's push. It's going across. Do, 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 do. Try and get these here as best possible. Or does he just block it down? Two minutes 48. Or is he going to try and ramp this one down? No, his king's going across. Do you know, he might do it, you know. Let's try and block it still. So it'd be a bit powerful getting it. Oh, what's the rhythm like? Tax take, tax take. Right, okay, let's just. Let's do this. Definitely taking a break after this one. Please, come on, let the movement be right for us. Get a draw at least. Hit. Oh, then he's got a, pa a passer to contend with. I've got a passer to contend with here. So this might not work out right now. Let's see if we go up and then he pushes down. And we take, well, we don't take. And he takes, takes. Okay, that's, I'm going to have to do that. It's a Zugzwang, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to get Zugzwanged. I'm hoping they get Zugzwanged, but oh, I'm just looking at it now. If he drops, then we can take. If he drops, uh, if we take, we're giving. Hmm. Oh, let's have a look at the. Um. Look at that, five mistake, terrible, terrible day. Went there. We're winning 3.1. Uh, shall we just, oh, let's try it then. So we said the danger one was them pushing here. Oh, that's an out and out loss because I think it's going to say take because we've got this beautiful passer. This pawn is going to come down. It's going to want to come down. But our king is there blocking, so we can push. King then has to go across and get this one. We keep pushing. It has to race to get it. We keep pushing. It has to race to get it. Get the queen. Gets that. Then we can come across here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, see you in 15.